I will take you to the book of Judges 14 and 16. Forgetting who really you are, we see Samson forgetting himself. Sometimes we forget ourselves. If you agree with me, shout at me. When we find people on the street, we behave like street people. We find people at workplaces. We behave like people in our workplaces. If you agree with me, shout at me. In floods, we behave like people in our flats again. I know after big service all they say, no, we worship too much, we're having anointing, let's stay warm, we'll see again. Hallelujah. If you agree with me, shout amen. amen. Right, uh, Samson, he forgot, he, he forgot that he was a Nazareth. Can you say a Nazareth? Are uh, you people wake up, can you say a Nazareth? Right, I want to open your spiritual eyes, what is a Nazareth? A Nazareth is someone who was born dedicated to do the will of God. He's not supposed to get married. He's not supposed to date. He's not supposed to do anything. That's why you find in Roman Catholic, they have those people, they call them father. You know father. If you know father in Roman Catholic, shout amen. amen. Yes, in Roman Catholic, we're having people who are called fathers and sisters. Huh? Those people, they are not supposed to date. They are not supposed to do anything. They are supposed to die without kids. Why? Because they dedicate themselves, dedicate their lives to be a Nazareth. But the difference between those people and God's Nazareth, can you say God's Nazareth? Again? Right. God's Nazareth. When I'm talking about God's Nazareth, I'm talking about someone who was born for a purpose. Not someone who was born then he thought that there is a purpose for him to do in the kingdom of God. Because men of us want God to use us. Men of us want God to, to talk to us. Men of us want God to, we want to hear God talking to us. A Nazareth of God and the Nazareth of, the Nazareth of, of, of nowadays, the difference is one. These of nowadays, you go and, uh, and take a pen and a paper, you sign down that I'm joining to be a father, I want to be a sister. When I want to be a sister, I'm dedicating my life using a signature that I'm not going to have uh, kids, I'm not going to uh, get married. But the difference between them and uh, for God, God's Nazareth are born to do God's will. Hallelujah. If you hear shout, Amen. Samson was born a Nazareth. Samson was born a Nazareth. But Samson's mother, she failed to conceive until the angel appeared. In Judges 13, the birth of Samson. When Samson, the angel, appears, we hear that Samson is at the angel instructing the woman that you are going to be pregnant and you are going to give a birth to a son. This son, I shall use this son, one, two, three, four. Hallelujah. Samson was born. But because Samson was born in a community that didn't want to, adm to admit that they are Nazareth, there are people who are born uh, for the will of God. The parents of Samson and the families of Samson, they wanted Samson to behave like ordinary people. That was the confusion that happened. I always tell people, don't cope other people. Our papers down under this sun are different. I always fight with people. I say, don't, don't even compare me with other pastors. That's an insult to me. Why are you comparing me with other prophets? Because uh, God, he gave me, I'm running my own race. I don't want to be compared with anyone. Hallelujah. Uh, if you're here, shout amen. If you don't shout amen, I will chase you. Shout amen. Samson was born in Nazareth.
He was born to do the will of God. But because he was surrounded by people, they wanted Samson to behave like everyone. Can you say everyone? Are you people, can you say everyone? Like you, when you're at work, you forget that you're a Christian. They say, ah, you, you know, there is a, a birthday of our boss. We need to take a, a just you must be there. When you arrive, there is ah, only a sip of glass of wine. There is no, you didn't kill anyone. He, he, hallelujah. You've forgotten yourself. Because your boss is celebrating his party. You're working, uh, your boss calls you, come here. Today we are celebrating a Halloween. They dress you like a witch. Why? Because they are celebrating Halloween. You forget who really you are. Christians, you behave like that. You insult your God to make other people happy. That's the thing that killed Samson. Samson wasn't supposed to die like that. A lot of Christians, you, you cut your life short. Not because your life must be short. Because of betraying God and making people happy. I cannot hide who I am. I want to tell people, when you are looking for a job or when you arrive in, in gathering, don't tell, don't forget. Uh, 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 Jonah said, I'm a Hebrew of Hebrews. Not a Hebrew only. He said, I am the Hebrew, but above Hebrews, the Hebrew of Hebrews, who worship God, not God only, but God who created heaven and earth. All of them, they ran away. Aye! Jonah was away. That he wasn't a prophet only. He was a mighty prophet. The Hebrew of Hebrews. You are not, if you, there are Christians. There are Christians who are having faith. Then there are Christians who are having now faith. Can you say now faith? Can you say now faith? Jonah is said. I am a Hebrew. Not only a Hebrew, but above Hebrews. The Hebrew of Hebrews. They said, what do you mean about that? He said, I'm Jonah who worship God. Not your small God, but God who created heaven. And earth. All of them, they ran away. If we forget who we are as believers, we put our life in danger all the time. Don't go to family gatherings and start behaving like them. You are a believer. I yet. I said to my girl during the, 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 the week, I said to one of I said, tell me, if you date a, a, an unbeliever, what are you talking about on, a, on your spare time? Let me say, you are having spare time, you are driving around, or you are, a, 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 what are you talking about? Tell me. Jonah, he failed to overcome, can you say temptations? Are you people? Can you say temptations? Again? Delilah didn't kill Jonah. Sorry, Delilah didn't kill Samson. Samson killed himself. Don't, don't, don't read the scripture and point. Because women, they are always suspect all the time. Because from Adam, the Bible says, they are the ones who are tempted. Even now, in, on Samson, they must be responsible of what happened. No, to Samson, they were not tempted. They were tempters. But Samson, he allowed the temptation. Am I making sense here? What happened to Joseph in Egypt? The wife of a king entered. He said, Joseph, the king is far away. You can sleep in my house here. Joseph, he saw that it was a temptation. He waited for the door to open. He ran away. You cannot go to the highway and kneel down and say, Father, you say it on the Bible, Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. You cannot go to the highway and say, hey, no weapon formed against me shall prop. Before you finish a prayer, you'll be missed. Me, the truck will come and cut you to pieces. 
Aye. Samson he got married while he wasn't supposed to get married. As we are doing Christians, we forget that we are Christians. We go to places where we are not supposed to go. Then we say, "I'll oh, pray about it." Pray about what? They told you in that gathering they, they are only people who will be just dancing and whatever. There are things, earthly things only. But you, you know you are a believer. You are not supposed to go to such a gathering. You go and say, I will pray about it. Pray about what? Can you say, devil, you're a liar? Ah, uh, wake up, you people. Say, devil, you're a liar. You find Christians say, I'm going to pray about it. Why are you praying while you are standing on top of the temptation? Delilah never killed Samson. Samson betrayed Samson. He forgot that he was a Nazareth. Same applies you Christians. You forget where you are coming from. You forget easy what God he has done in your daily basis. You forget very easy. Many of you, you forget where you are coming from. Let me tell you something. Can you say temptations? I love the key. Can you say temptations? Don't say I will pray when I reach on the temptation. Joseph ran away. Hallelujah. <laughs> Samson, he got married. In Judges 14, Samson, he became married. If you agree with me, shout amen. amen. Don't do things because some so and so, they say, when you arrive in your village, they say, ah, look, all your, your cousins and whatever, they are married. So these people, they want you to throw yourself under the moving train so that uh, you kill yourself. I've seen that. Marriage is a blessing from above. It's God to give. And God's time is always what? The best. Don't bring your time on God's time. Aye! I witnessed the 70 something year old woman and the 91 year old man getting married. I was there, I was young. Nothing is too late to God. Can you say in the name of Jesus? They say to Samson, Samson, all your age here, your boys are your age. They, they, they are married. You must marry my son. We'll find a Jew girl here. You marry. But the mother and the father, they were away. How Samson she was born. How Samson he was born. He was born in Nazareth. Now they want this boy to commit a sin. And sin against his, his God who created him. That's what we do. When we go to gathering, they say, ah, you came here, Susan. Don't worry. Uh, we are just going to go there. You are not going to do anything. By standing there when they are worshipping their demons, you are part of those demons again. At your workplace, they say, we are going to celebrate by drinking red wine only. You know you are a believer. Don't forget who you are. Samson, by forgetting that he was a, a Nazareth, he was cutting his days of living shorter. Stop cutting your days short. Are you? Can you say in the name of Jesus? Tell the neighbor. Stop cutting your days short. Yes, yeah, stop cutting your days short. To make other people to be happy. You go to your village when you arrive, they say, we heard that you are still not married. Please come. There is another old man there. Then you just agree because you are a fool. You are forgetting that your life is no longer your life. Your life is in the hand of God. If marriage is your portion, God shall bring it. Hallelujah. Can you say Amen. If marriage is your portion, God shall bring it. Don't force it. 
first wife of Samson. He married a gay, a Jew girl. They paid everything. They did a bachelor party. After bachelor party, there was a wedding. After wedding, he discovered that he did wrong. He took the wife and gave to the friend. They say, friend, you need a wife. Take this one. I don't, I don't want this wife anymore. That issue we hear Samson in Judges 14, he said, I like her. Not love. The heart of Samson wasn't created to love anyone, but to love God Almighty. Hallelujah. Uh, I shout amen. The heart of Samson was created to love God only, not anyone. Can you say in the name of Jesus? I say, Lord Jesus, Lord Jesus, have mercy on me. I know you forget yourself sometimes when they play this doom, doom, doom song. Huh? Nowadays, there is that song of the rolling eyes. You find a Christian rolling eyes. Aye! Do you know yourself or you don't know yourself? Why are you rolling eyes? <laughs> they call it what? Kilimanjaro. My girls, they came, one day I was in the studio, they said, Papa, do you know Gilimanjaro? I said, the mountain. They said, ah, not mountain. It's a latest. I said, latest one. They said, latest song. But they were away, it's demonic. They said, that thing is demonic. People, they dance and rolling eyes like they're dying. Then I said, who, who, who's, who, who's normal who can practice death? Aye, aye. Do you think that those people when they are rolling eyes, they are about to die? They are enjoying that? They don't! Samson, he married. After marrying the woman, he said, I don't need this wife anymore. It was the choice of my parents. He gave the wife to the friend. Can you give your wife to the friend? Samson did that. He said, no, 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 take, take the wife. Give my friend, you need the wife. Take her bed, Lobola, and everything. Take the wife. It's yours. Hallelujah. Can you say in the name of Jesus? But there was one habit of Samson. Samson, he loved women. No matter he was a Nazareth. That was his weak point. You are having your weak point as a Christian. Can you say my weak point? I say my weak point. Hear the word of God. Uh, 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 you, you, uh, say my weak point. You know your weak point, huh? Do you know your weak point? Uh -huh. When your bosses they drink, they leave some a bit. When before you wash, you finish. That's your weak point. Samson here at a weak point. Of loving women. No matter he was a Nazareth. Who taught Samson women? It was father and the mother. Because they wanted him to get married. He wasn't doing it because he wanted to do it. He, want, he was doing it so that he may impress people. Don't forget yourself. Because of other people. Devil may find you there and finish you. Tell devil a liar. Uh, you precious people say devil a liar. Second, he enters in a city called Gaza. He knows a famous prostitute. He found a famous prostitute standing on the gate. Samson, he takes the prostitute and enters with the prostitute in the house. We hear Gaza people say, tonight we have to kill Samson in the morning. We are going to wait out of the house of this prostitute. When he comes out, we kill him. God, he came to Samson at night and said, hey, you're about to die in the morning. Samson, he came with the door and the, 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 the pillars of the door. He, 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 he moved with everything. Hallelujah. Aye. In 16, we see Samson. Knowing that he's fighting with Philistine, he sees the daughter of the enemies of Jews 
Then he confessed something wrong. I love her. How can you love your enemy? Because by that time, Jesus wasn't even already there to say love thy love your enemy as you love, unless you love yourself. Hallelujah! He was aware, Samson, that those tribes, they wanted Jews to be finished. And he was aware that God was against them mixing with those people. Delilah came. Today we are no longer talking about the mistakes of Samson that we are doing in churches every day in our Christianity life, forgetting who really we are. We want to talk about Delilah who betrayed Samson. Why did Samson he forgot? He betrayed his master. Samson, he betrayed, he betrayed God. We are talking about Delilah, like Delilah, yeah, she was alone in this, forgetting that Samson, he was a Nazareth, he betrayed his master. Aye! Can you say in the name of Jesus? Are, are you precious people? Say in the name of Jesus. Most of the time, if you forget who really you are, you die. Don't forget that you're a Christian. You enter, I always tell my people in their phone, they say, I'm looking or I'm going to an interview or I'm going to a gathering. I say, don't forget you are a what? You are a Christian. Me, if I visit people, the first thing that we do, I will tell people, let's call the grace. Let's call the what? Aha, I'm a Hebrew of Hebrews. I don't do anything without what? Prayer. So when I pray, I say, Lord, look here, I'm surrounded uh, uh, by strangers. Good looking and bad looking same time. And I know one of them is, he or she is planning something evil about me. Let that evil today not work. If there is anyone carrying a poison here before we eat, I neutralize that poison by the blood of Jesus. When you say amen, if there is a poison, you must know they have already a, 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 a hidden the poison. No one will have power to put poison after prayer. Am I about you? You people, you enter in parties, in gatherings, families, you start eating. After eating, you pray. A prayer is like that a, a medicine, that is a medication that is written, shake before you what? You drink. Do you know those, those medications? If you know them, shout them in. There is those medications, they, they, they are written, shake well, before you what? You drink. If you don't shake, drink, you see. Hallelujah. Tell Jeffrey a liar. Tell Jeffrey a liar. Say, Lord Jesus, have mercy on me. What killed Samson? It was his ignorance, not Delilah. Delilah, she was a temptation. I said to another man one day, I said, the way you follow uh, this uh, demon of Samson is going to kill you. Hallelujah. He was closer to me. He said to me, oh, man of God, pray for me. You know, I cannot stop it. I can't save myself. I said, you're going to die. He, he's dead now. When he was sick, I told him the same thing again. I said, I told you 2013. This demon of Samson shall kill you. If a mighty man like Samson never survived, you are not mighty one way or the other. These demons, they will make you bow down. If you forget who you are, you, separate, you, you suppress days of living under the sun. Tell devil you're a liar. I'm not a devil, you people. Tell devil you're a liar. Again, again, Delilah killed Samson. That's what we hear in the Bible. What about Samson who betrayed his God? Because he was a Nazareth. He wasn't born to get married, Samson. 
I grew up in a community, Papa, you see a lot of, uh, in a family where they are duck, duck, duck. You just see a white one, uh, just white, different. I grew up with a girl called Midrat. So I was asking myself, why that family, they are all dark? But this girl, she's white and killed, yeah? When you talk about it, you know, as we grew up, you were beaten for everything. Hallelujah. Uh, shout amen. As we grew up being beaten for everything, to ask you are beaten. To cry, you are beaten. Not to cry, you are beaten. To eat food, you are beaten. Not to eat, you are beaten. That's why we are stars. Hallelujah. Aye. If they beat you, you cry. Why are you crying too much? The day they beat you, don't cry. Why are you not crying when I'm beating you? Aye. Can you say in the name of Jesus? Can you say in the name of Jesus? I used to ask her, I said, why that Midrad girl, she is different? You know the answer is, hey, shut up, we'll kill you now. You know they will kill you. Ah, kids of nowadays. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Until we grow up. When you grow up now, we are old now, they cannot shut up to us. We came again with the question, why that girl, she's different in that family alone? But you say that girl belongs to that mother and that father. How? How come? Hallelujah. Until one man was, he was always drunk, but he was a straight talker. He said, ah, they didn't want to tell you. Do you remember father so and so? We say, yes, that white guy. Say, that, that, that's the son, that's the daughter of that father. Hallelujah. Uh, shall I mean? Because they are not born Nazareth. They want to be Nazareth. They do mistakes. Don't, don't, don't dedicate your life to something that you cannot maintain. You see these lesbians and gays. Go and check in Roman Catholic. They are the ones who have, who have made that thing to be worse. In the name of religion. We cannot control it now. Because of such religions. That have made that thing to spread all over. If you go to Roman Catholic, Sodom is the only thing that happens there. No one is blaming it because they are practicing to be born like Samson. Samson, he wanted to behave like them. He died. Them, they are trying to behave like Samson. They are failing. Hallelujah. Say in the name of Jesus. The Papa says it is good to marry. Say, say, say in the name of Jesus. Yes, the Papa says it is good to marry. If you read in, in, in 1 Corinthians in 7, in Max very clear, it, it is very good to marry. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. But don't do it for people. As Samson did it. He entered in Gaza. He went to a farmer's prostitute knowing that they want to kill him. Don't tempt your God. If you forget who you are, you will find yourself that you do a lot of mistakes instead of doing a lot of right things. Hallelujah. Say in the name of Jesus. Uh, you people will test you. Say in the name of Jesus. Say, Lord Jesus. Lord Jesus. Have mess on me. Have mess on me. 